Was it worth the show and the free tickets? Yeah. Would you do it again? No. 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 Oh my God, that is not a good place to park your truck. The first thing I heard, we need to know who's doing what. I'm driving the truck. Who's driving the mower? Silence. I don't know how to drive the mower. My boat is new. Okay. You should, you should probably practice that. <laughs> So, Margaret, what do you think of the chances of this succeeding on? Who's going to drive the golf cart? I would say 60-40. Okay. I'd give it 80-20. 80-20. All right, we got a positive. Your instructions are going to be to drive that way when I tell you to. Wait. Down the hill. quite steep. Yes. That's the whole idea. It's going to be pulling. It's going to be helping. Alex, do you want to drive the golf cart? The third person is a person to tend the ropes. When they start to move, if the, if the truck actually starts out to go on its own power, somebody else should be pulling the ropes out of the way of the truck. Hello, this is Shawnee Sampson coming to you from Hippo Ridge once again. This is another installation of Hippo Ridge Physics. Today we're going to be talking about how to pull your truck out of the ditch when you have an 8,000 pound truck and trailer and over there is a 2,000 pound mower and it's going to pull the 8,000 pound truck and trailer out of the dip. And the way we're going to do that is with pulleys. But before we get to that, I'd like to talk about a preliminary <laughs> physics lesson here at Hippo Ridge, which is the safety line that Mikey and I put on a couple of days ago. And the idea in the safety line is to keep it from sliding any farther. You can see that sliding would be a problem. After this line was attached, this yellow line, I put a tensioner on it to increase the force in the line. The most I was able to achieve pulling on this yellow rope was maybe 50 pounds. I was going like this, so it's hard to do. But when I put this tensioner line on there, I increased the force in the yellow line. And the way we figure out how much is by using trigonometry and physics. If you have a straight right angle, and you line it up with the direction of force that you put your tensioner on and notice that there's another line that comes over here then the multiplication of force is equal to the length of this line divided into the length of that line so I'm thinking that's about one so I made it three times stronger I made the 50 pounds 150 pounds by adding this rope Pulling the same 50 over here, but now it's 150 over here. And that's not all. There's 150 on that side, too. So 50 became 300. Okay, here we go. Step two is figuring out how to actually do the truck extraction. We're going to use a 2,000-pound mower and have 8,000-pound truck. Uh, we're going to have to figure out a way to multiply out our force of the tractor. We're going to use pulleys to do that. These four lines here are, represent four lines going back and forth between pulleys and the truck and this tree up here. And there's only one line going to the mower. And so one line will be at, multiplied by four over here and the 2,000 pound mower should be able to pull out the 8,000 pound truck. Along the way, the, one of the things we need to calculate if we want to do a detailed calculation is how much actual force is on the rope, not how much does the truck weigh. And we do that calculation again using trigonometry, and we need to understand what is the angle of the slope here. So we can figure that out again with trigonometry by taking a level, and then we put them down, we make this level, range this to this level, and we then slide it out until we get, there we go, and now we take the measurement here, again versus there and find out what fraction of the total weight we have to actually pull and my estimate earlier was it was 15 degrees and 25 percent so one two three four yeah about right about four times as much so we actually need 2,000 pounds of force to pull that up of course the mower is doing the same thing in the reverse 
it only has 500 pounds to pull it back down. What the mower has in addition to the, just the weight is the fact that it is driven and we're going to use the traction of the mower to make up the difference. Now the design of this contraption is extremely important. You have to be able to use equipment that's going to uh, hold up to this load. Each of the four ropes is uh, rated for at least a thousand pounds. That's making double the estimated amount of two thousand. At the end of the four ropes we have a block for each two ropes that's rated for 2,000 pounds and then we have a rope that's holding both blocks together and that's going to be rated for 4,000 pounds. Some of you will have noticed on Instagram the story of the weak link. This was a piece that I had to custom manufacture in order to connect the rope to the uh, block. The two ropes wouldn't fit in there together so I had to make this link thing and I think I finally got it right now. We have all the coil pointing in the same direction. These were individually rated at 55 pounds each, but I have a minimum of 20 loops going around there, and then there's a doubling because it's two ways. Once again, we have the 2,000 pound rating. Plenty there, plenty there, and we're ready to go. And the next step is going to be to go ahead and load up the trailer. Okay, so we're just loading it up just a little bit to see what happens. We've already done this once to make sure it's going to work okay, and the, those weak links are fine. So there the mower is sort of idling. It's, it's just holding itself there. I'm going to load it a little bit more. And the, notice the other rope is starting to go slack a little bit. I'm actually moving the truck. And now I'm going to stop here. We're just going to leave this idle. Get this loaded up. I believe I can take the other one off. And we're going to use this second rope over here as a secondary pull system that's angled back this way a little bit better because we're a little bit concerned that the truck is so close to that tree. So, First thing I need to do now is take off the tensioner. Here we go. Okay, so we're loading up this other rope now. Stop now, Alex. Just right there is good. So we've loaded the second line up. We got good tension on that. We got good tension on that. It's time to do the job. Climatic there, except we're running over the rope. So, how does it feel, Ken, after accomplishing your difficult task? I still know my physics. No. Well done. See? You were right, the 80 20 was correct. All right, Margaret, looks like it's a 100% success here. Woo! Nobody was injured.